Section 2.2, beginning on page 35, is about vectors, scalars, and coordinate systems. So you're probably starting to notice that this chapter has a lot of just basic definitions. It's important for you to understand these definitions in a very fundamental way. These are the basic concepts that we're going to be using throughout our discussion of physics, position, velocity, and acceleration. What's more, just like the word theory, these words have a colloquial usage and then a physics usage. The two are related, but the physics definitions are much more precise. So make sure you understand the precise physics definitions of all of these words. So, for example, here you have a vector and the precise definition of a vector and scalars. So you want to make sure you understand the difference between vectors and scalars. Then we move on to discussion, discussing coordinate systems. Now, you've probably seen coordinate systems that look something similar to this in, say, a math class where you've got x and y. One important thing to note here is that we get to choose where the origin of our coordinate system, which is this point here in the middle, we get to choose where that's going to be. So this has deep fundamental connections that we'll explore later in the course. I would also like to draw your attention to this statement here. Once you assign a positive direction and start solving a problem, you can't change it. 